Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with Trail and Mountain, and today I'm testing and reviewing the Big Agnes Lost Dog Zero Degree Sleeping Bag. This is Big Agnes' website right here. Definitely make sure you check these guys out. These guys have been in the backpacking and outdoor gear world for a long time, and they definitely know what they're talking about. Um, they don't call them the mother of comfort for nothing. So this is the Lost Dog Zero Degree Bag, and we used this bag last weekend in Big Sur. So this bag is really special along with the other bags from Big Agnes just because of how well it's designed. So I'm going to get it out of this stuff sack. You know, it comes with this storage bag, which is great. So it really maintains the loft and it'll help your sleeping bag last a lot longer than if you were just to compress it, you know, in its stuff sack the whole time and leave it in storage. So when you're not being used, when it's not being used, leave it in its uh, storage bag like this. Now you could always get a linen bag from Walmart for a couple bucks. They're no big deal, but it comes with it, so you don't have to. And it's mesh, so it breathes, which is really great. So I'm gonna get this thing out. I'm gonna set it up on this sleeping pad behind, and then that's under me, which is also a big Agnes pad. And then we'll finish up this review. <clears throat> now the other great thing is that it also comes with its own stuff sack. And it has Big Agnes logo on it. And it also says what's in it too. So that's pretty cool. Lost Dog, zero degree, regular, right zip. So that's when you take it in backcountry, leave it in here when you're not using it, you're good to go. So the Big Agnes Lost Dog, as I said, it's a right zip, zero degree bag, full hood. It has, it has this great sleeve for your sleeping pad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the sleeping pad on it, sleep, sleeping pad rather, on it. You want to put the valve of your sleeping pad at the head and you want to put it in upside down. Because then when you flip it, it's going to be right side up. You just tuck this in the sleeve. Just like so. Then you get the other side. like that. Now, your sleeping bag's not gonna roll off of your sleeping pad in the middle of the night. I've been sleeping in the back country for many nights and you know you wake up in the middle of the night and half your body is off of the sleeping pad, which sucks because the ground is cold sometimes. But still, it's uncomfortable and you want to be on your pad, not on the ground. That's the whole reason you bring a pad. There's a full zip. You have a nice little stretchy pocket on the inside here for your, you know, cell phone or maybe a flashlight or, you know, whatever. Sometimes if it's below freezing, you want to, you don't want to want your, uh, you don't want your water filter to freeze. So a lot of times I'll sleep with my water filter so it doesn't crack the membrane. So I'll put my, my water filter in here sometimes or my cell phone. Um, definitely not my water filter and my cell phone at the same time, just in case. But... The bottom of the sleeping bag, there's no insulation. This is just fabric right here with no, no insulation whatsoever. Now this does have a, in the hood, I'm gonna move this around so you can kind of see it. I'll just kind of put this inside out. The inside of the hood, there is a, what they call a pillow barn. So you can stuff in a pillow or stuff in some clothing. And then you got your own little built-in pillow, which is great. Um, I usually bring a, um, a stuff sack like a hyperlite stuff sack and just stuff my clothes in that and flip it inside out and has a, uh, a felt um, piece on it that I can rest my head on but this would be great and just kind of stuff it in there it's less stuff to bring it does have great storm collar that goes straight down the uh, the zipper so there's no cold spots that are going to develop in on the zipper side it has great loft on the sides and you can tell how high up that goes I mean that's about a foot on either side and tons of insulation on the sides tons of loft on the top to really keep that and lock that heat down in there it does have a drawstring for the hood and you just kind of pinch it and release and that loosens that up so the loft that's in here the insulation that's in here is what they call fireline eco right so eco is 100 percent post-consumer recycled polyester so what that means is that if this bag features low denier fibers that are tightly woven and provide a high loft compressibility, high weight to warmth ratio, and durability. So 
excellent for being a synthetic bag. So this bag weighs in at about four pounds and two ounces. For a zero degree bag, it's a little on the hefty side, but it's still a hefty sleeping bag. I mean, this thing is gonna keep you toasty warm when the temps get super cold. When you do compress it, although it's a synthetic bag, it's not gonna compress as well as, as, uh, as down does but it still will compress all the way down. If you have a stuff sack, like a compression bag, you can stuff it down to about nine inches by 11 and a half. So the shell is a ripstop nylon with a water repellent finish on it. So not waterproof, but water repellent. So if it gets a little water on it, it's gonna be fine. So the inside is a soft polyester. So this is more, um, it doesn't feel like sleeping bag material, it feels more like fabric. So really, really nice, feels good on the skin. So the regular and long size bags will incorporate a 20 to 25 inch wide pad the wide long bag will fit 25 to 30 inch wide pad. So if you're a hefty person and you have, you know, really broad shoulders, you want to make sure that you get the wide long because that's really going to expand out to your pad and make your pad fit even better. So this is a right zip bag, meaning that the zipper goes on the right side of the bag. So depending if you're a side sleeper, you want the zipper to be accessible and more comfortable for you. Um, the left and right zip bags, when you get two of them, one left and one right, you can actually mate them together. So husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, you can actually cinch those, uh, zip those two bags together and have a double bag, which is great. So the zipper, this is a YKK number no. five anti-snag zipper, locking zipper, which means that it's just super efficient, doesn't snag, no matter how fast you zip this thing up. So that's great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in it just so you can see how well this thing fits. I'm six foot, about 170 pounds. There's this great collar around the neck to really lock in that warmth. And you can pull the zipper or the, uh, the drawstring to really cinch this thing around your head. So I could just keep my face out while I can stay nice and toasty warm on the inside, which is where you want all that warmth. Now I have plenty of room at my foot to move my feet around. I have plenty of room at my shoulders to move my elbows in and out. You know, and if I was to turn over on my side, I still have plenty enough room to move around. You know, if I toss and turn, and I have a tendency to toss and turn in my sleep a lot. So. Open this up. And out you go. One thing I would have a gripe with is that it, it says that it has a internal cinch for the for the hood, you can cinch it around your head, but I can't find it. I don't see it. There's nowhere on the inside that I can see it. So that's kind of either misleading and I just haven't found it yet or what, but it's not a big deal. You could always cinch it from the outside. It is one-handed uh, release on the outside. So as long as you get your arm out, you can release it, kind of open it up a little bit, allow more air in. But all in all, the Lost Dog is a great bag. We took this thing, as I said, to Big Sur last weekend and it didn't get any as i said it didn't get anywhere near zero degrees but it did get a little chilly at night and the guy that used it was like this is a great bag super comfortable had no issues whatsoever and when it got too warm he opened it up just like it is now and he was totally fine because it zips all the way down to almost to the ankle so it zips it's a pretty much a full zip so this bag also has a streamlined silhouette so it's designed to increase the thermal efficiency of the bag to help keep you warmer without adding any extra weight, which is really great. It does have horizontal baffles that go across here and plenty of room at the foot box. The foot, I, have, I, I like to be able to move my feet in and out of my sleeping bag when I use one and this bag has ample room. So plenty of room at the shoulders, plenty of room at the feet and I really like it. The colors are cool too, especially if you like the Lakers. So Lakers are pretty close to Lakers colors. You got yellow and navy blue. So if this was purple, it'd be pretty dead on, but it's a good little bag. I like it. So what I did here is I, I mated the two together. So I mated the Daisy May and the Lost Dog together. So now it's like a double sleeping bag. So super warm, you and the missus or the mister. Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, and wife, you get to sleep next to each other in your mummy bags. That was always a thing that my wife and I struggle with. When we're in our mummy bags, we can't like kind of snuggle up to each other and that kind of thing. So with this, you can do it. So the best of both worlds. 
and it's super easy to connect. You basically just zip it at the bottom, you unzip it, and then you, you unzip it at the, the garage. You meet the two together and you just zip it closed. That's it. This way you have your two sleeping bags as one now. Pretty cool. And you still have full access to the hoods and you can cinch those down, whatever you want to do, but you'd stay even actually more warmer this way. Because you, you know, with the body heat, you can kind of, you know, work on that on each other. So pretty cool. All right, so had a good night last night. It was probably, according to my uh, thermometer, it was about 35 degrees. So not as cold as I wanted it to. This is a zero degree bag from Big Agnes, but I am just in like a, like a, it's almost like a pajama top, but yeah, like no, uh, no thermals or anything like that. I'm basically in like a long sleeve shirt and long sleeve pants, or long sleeve pants, long pants. Um, but yeah, it was toasty warm all night. I had no issues whatsoever. Um, didn't get cold one bit. So I'll keep testing it, but this this sleeping bag is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, Big Agnes never never lets you down. No, it's I never have any issues with their gear. And if they do, like if I get like a zipper broken or anything like that, they have excellent customer service. So. All right, so yeah, this is the lost dog from Big Agnes, zero degree bag. And you know, something I'm doing a lot more on my channel is instead of just kind of unboxing and showing you the features and benefits of said product, um, I'm actually getting out and beating the product up out in the backcountry quite a bit before I actually post the videos. So. I could really get a feel for the products. Um, just something I wanted, to be, I wanted to be doing on my channel for a long time. And I feel like, you know, my subscribers are owed that. So it's currently like 36 degrees. It I actually checked the temperature. It dipped down to just about freezing um, at about 4 a.m. It was at like 32, 31 degrees, like right around there at like 4 a.m. Uh, but once again, just regular socks, like a jammy top and jammy pants. No issues whatsoever. Toasty warm. You can probably see my breath. It's um, a Big Agnes sleeping bag. I'm on a Big Agnes sleeping pad as well that fits right in to the sleeve on the back. And I'm actually in a Big Agnes tent as well. So all Big Agnes around here. Um, I just wanted to keep it all legit and real. But yeah, nice and brisk and I'm going to sleep in a little bit longer and eventually get up and make some breakfast. So this is the lost dog from Big Agnes. I'm going to test the other two that I have, which is the actually three. So I'll be shooting more video with the um, other sleeping bags that I have uh, over the next couple weeks, just doing some colder weather camping and seeing how well they keep me warm. So just wanted to show this one to you. Hope you guys have a great day and we'll catch you in the next video. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Lost Dog Zero Degree Bag from Big Agnes. Here's their website once again right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. You guys are making high-quality backcountry gear for a long time. Definitely worth a look at. Disclaimer, I am not paid by Big Agnes, nor am I sponsored by them to do these reviews. They've been a big supporter of my, of my YouTube channel for a long time. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not paid... Uh, by Big Agnes in any way shape or form. So if you guys have any questions or comments about this bag I'd love to hear what you guys have to say Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can Also too, please like share and subscribe it really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing So also make sure you click on that bell icon too because when you do that You're gonna get notified every time I post a new video which is weekly So it's the best way to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on So if you like my review and I build value in this product for you You want to pick one of these up for yourself or a loved one it makes a great gift i'll leave a link down in the description box down below where you can make your purchase when you make your purchase using that link it helps support my youtube channel and allows me to produce higher quality content to give back to you so i really appreciate all the help love and support you guys show me do i make a lot of money on those links no it's pennies on the dollar but it adds up over time and it allows me to produce higher quality content and give back 
in a way that I know will help you guys, like these reviews, for example. So thanks again. I really appreciate you spending your valuable time with me, checking out my videos. Uh, please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, tech and camera reviews, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.